Okay, so let's reassemble this and put the whole thing together again. That's the base. We just tip the rocker arm backwards and then we'll put the uh, sliding table to go underneath that. That goes underneath, just slides underneath. Remember that it's not attached in any way to the actual frame itself, but it can move left and right like that. Okay. We put the left hand side, because of those 90 degrees, it makes a 90 degree angle with the wood and 45 degrees at the table. And then the right hand side is there. We'll put that down. And we can adjust that to fit the book. Okay, we'll put another book in there just for now. There's a the book. Okay. And then we have to fasten on various other bits and pieces. So we'll put on the platen first of all. The platen fits into the V shape of the book. I've used um, a washer on either side of this just to help it to move freely and that will go through and this will go through on the other side. So we'll just bring the rock around down. That's one side. Just fasten that on with a nut there and the other side, fasten that on. Just make sure it's working nicely, goes up and down and fits right into the groove of the book. There it goes. We'll put the counterbalance weights back on. At the back, remember those are just those training weights for athletes. Make your wrists strong. See it's not quite lifting up yet because uh, it hasn't got enough weight on the back, but we'll put the extra weight on there. And that lifts the platen into position. One of the things I found is that I like to give it a bit of something to hit when it hits the ground, so I've actually put in uh, just a neck cushion just for it to cushion when it goes down it just hits the neck cushion and just makes a nice soft landing out the back there so there's that it just goes up and down like that and then the two cameras will be fitted on mm -hmm. onto these parts here using these brackets and remember that the angle the relationship between the camera and the uh, platen is always fixed it's always there and it's a uh, standard relationship okay so that's that now. I'll just uh, show you a little bit about lighting. Okay, this is a little bit about lighting now. I'm using a uh, fluorescent energy saving bulb. This is very bright indeed. It uses, it has 1900 lumens of light and uh, it's really great. It gives a lovely bright light uh, over, the, um, over the book. That's the thing, it's, this has got a British bayonet fitting in, but you can get screw fittings as well. And this has just an on off switch. And there comes the light, it's very bright as you can see. And that is clipped onto the back of the frame here. And the idea is that it, it actually doesn't give any reflections into the cameras because the light is reflected towards the user. So that goes on down. You won't see any reflection of the light on the platen, which is a problem with some... With some uh, positions of lights and just to make it a little bit better I've, I took a, uh, a pan just a meatloaf pan and that goes around the back and gives additional reflective light onto the paper area so it's very brightly lit now and um, there it goes up and down This is just one little hint about the book itself. Now, in this book, I've pushed a piece of foam. This is actually uh, pipe insulation foam, very soft. It's not gonna damage the book, but just push it down the inside and another one at the other end. And this means that the spine of the book is curved. 
So you can see there it's, it's got more of a curved shape, it's not flat and that helps to push the pages up and helps actually to push them open so that when your platen comes in it gets right into the groove of the book without damaging the book. Um, I, I did think about other things like pipes and stuff like that but this is just uh, pipe insulation material that you use for insulating your pipes in the roof for winter time. Uh, readily available, just cut a strip and you can cut different sizes of strip to fit in the different sizes of book that you're going through. Obviously it won't work with paperbacks uh, but with this kind of book it's really good because it helps to get a really nice crisp angle. You can see there's a really good V shape there um, in the book which if you take that out um, it would be more, it, it wouldn't, it just doesn't, it gets more of a bent shape. The books are sort of like that, the pages are sort of curved up. So this helps to get a really nice crisp V shape which is what you want because it fits into the shape of the platen, platen very well then and you get um, a really good image when you're taking the photographs. Just a little bit about the cameras. Um, these cameras are two different types here. This one is a Pentax uh, RZ18 and this one is another Pentax. This is a Pentax VS20. Um, I bought them simply because they both have uh, the infrared firing mechanism. Uh, which is a little one of the holes on the front of the camera here and they, these these uh, triggers for firing the mechanism have a very long range they're bright enough and so if you just fire it into the into the v-shape it will fire both cameras at once so that's the uh, the camera side of things and they're still attached here to the bike handlebar mechanism okay this is the last part of the Easy Book Scanner and that's the cover and the cover is made from a canvas wardrobe which I bought on eBay and it's the, this is the frame of the canvas wardrobe and it has a black cover uh, which just fits over the top and this will keep out any extra light that you don't want to get in. This just covers it re re really nicely and because it's black of course it keeps out a lot of light, it just fits right over the top. Quick and simple solution to uh, keeping the light out. There it is, completely covered. It has a little zip down the front here um, which you can use to um, just open up and allow access for the user. So that's the last part, this uh, black cheap canvas covered wardrobe from eBay. So there you are, it's a very simple, I think it's an elegant solution to making a book scanner. It's taken a, quite a lot of trial and error actually and there have been a number of um, earlier versions that didn't work in one way or another as well as I wanted them to. But this does work, it's very good and it will get through pages very quickly and um, gives very nice clear images that are great for putting into Scan Tailor or some other post uh, scanning software that you may have for tidying it up. I haven't put actual dimensions here but it, as I say the main dimension uh, is based on the um, the actual uh, platen um, and once you've got that if you build that will give you the width of the two supporting bars um, and the length between there and the the pivot where the thing moves up and down and it basically affects all of the all of the sizes that you do. You can have a bigger or a smaller platen, it doesn't really matter. Um, but then you have to make sure that everything does fit and that's the way the best way to start with that. One other thing I didn't mention was that these holes up on the um, side of the platen oh these these things are just T shapes by the way. These um, these things here are T uh, joiners that you can get from a hardware store. But you have to be quite careful when you're drilling through the holes to screw these on. You need to start with a very small um, drill bit and just gradually increase it. You don't want to crack the plastic because um, that would be not very nice. So I hope you have fun and um, that this will help you to make your own easy scanner. Thank you.